Hi guys, it's Claire, and before I get started, I just want to say I'm coming to you again from my very messy desk. But it's not messy, it's more like dusty, so I need to clean it. But, yeah, I'm coming to you with a very special review. You hear cars go by, I'm sorry, you see glares, I'm sorry. So anyways, let's just get on with the review today. I'm reviewing Designer Cinderella. This doll is such a treasure to have, even though... The bottom of the slipcase is in fact messed up, but that's my, mostly my own fault. Oh well, I'm not selling this doll, so, uh, I'll probably just tape it. Oh well, nothing I can do about it, the damage is done. Anyways, here's the slipcase with the Cinderella thingy on it. And this thing, you can feel it. Right here, it's absolutely gorgeous and stunning, and it looks amazing. And then here's the artwork of her. Now, if you guys know me, you know that I don't like a lot of Cinderella dolls. I'm not a Cinderella person, and I've stated in my other video that this doll is basically just a bonus for the other one, even though I paid... I paid almost half of what I did for her than what I did for the other designer which you're gonna see her later but this right here is the top and I'm not sure if I'm actually getting it because I can't see it very well but yeah that's the top that's the front and here is the side and this is where you start to see the damage that I accidentally caused I don't know if this was already there or not, I want to say no, but I'll just tape it. These um, slipcases aren't very sturdy anyways, which is very unfortunate, but yeah, here's the side. And then this, I just accidentally did it trying to put the slipcase on it, but oh, well, oh well. Like I said, I'm not planning on selling these dolls, so, yeah. Here's this, Ideas Updo, classic style, and she has rooted eyelashes and an updo. And her dress is a strapless dress with that very pretty black beaded necklace, even though that's not what it looks like. Um, a fitted silhouette, it's very, very pretty. And then there's the final project with the white gloves, carriage draped clutch, clutch and the final. These dolls are retailed at $59.50. So basically $60 with tax and shipping, which I don't know how much it actually was. Probably somewhere around $70, I would guess. Depending on where you live. If you got it at the Disney store online or if you got it in store, you probably just paid $60. So yeah. Price around 62 63 with tax, but anyway, let's take off the cover, even though most of you guys have seen this doll, probably, so yeah. Come on. It's very hard to do with one hand, which is make, which makes me wish I used my computer for this, but meds, whatever. Here's the slip cover, just set that right there, and then here's the doll. She's very pretty and very gorgeous and there's no damage done to her or anything. I was going to see if I could get this plastic thing off but since it's never been removed I decided no I'm not going to attempt to remove it but I would like to feel her and see her and stuff but meh it's whatever. The camera's extremely shaky. But there's her gorgeous face. Her hair is in an updo style with like a snooky poof, you'll see it better on the side view. And then her little rhinestone encrusted headpiece and then her bangs that are curled, they're very gorgeous. 
And then here's her lovely, lovely face. She's wearing pink eyeshadow, pink lips, pink blush, blue eyes. She's just very pretty. And then her necklace, also very, very gorgeous. And then here's her dress. I like how there's rhinestones at top of it and then they just fade as they go down. It's very pretty. And then her glove and the bow on her. And then here's the other part of the bow. And then here's the clutch. It's very pretty and it's very gorgeous. And I wish I had this clutch. It's pretty. And then her dress is like a mermaid style dress. So she's very, very, very pretty. And then here is this side view of her. She's absolutely stunning. And then there's part of the packaging for her. I like how they did her hair, how it's parted and then it flows. You can't really see the bow or anything, but you know what, that's okay. Then her dress, no, that's her bow. It folds over, so the bow is very, very long and flowy. Then we see if I can attempt to do a top view of her. That's probably about as good as a top view as you guys are going to get. I'm sorry. And then here's the other view of her. You can see her hair a little bit better. Then her earrings, her necklace. And then her very pretty dress. And here's the clutch. And I believe this actually opens, but I'm not removing the doll to find out either. So, yeah. Then let's see if we can do the packaging a little bit better. And then somewhat. You can somewhat see the back of the bow, too. Very, very pretty. And then here's the back. Which at this time I'm mostly going to display her is with this case right here. But yeah. Disney Princess Designer Collection. Her gorgeous artwork, which I still can't get over. It's really pretty. Then her certificate of authenticity 4,123 of 8,000. Which the numbers really don't matter with these dolls at all it's just how much i love the doll and they are absolutely gorgeous and stunning pieces of work um i don't know if she wants me to tell you guys how in fact i came across this doll or anything but they were released in 2011 and it was this doll, Cinderella, and then I believe it was Ariel, and then Snow White or Belle, and then things got crazy. Apparently there were fist fights in the stores, the site was crashing, and it was horrible. And in 2011, October was when, no, I want to say August. August. 2011 was when these dolls were released. I don't know. I didn't participate in the craziness for these dolls, but that's when I first started getting into collecting, and slowly over time, I started to like these dolls more and more, and they are absolutely gorgeous and stunning, and I think a few of them are, in fact, at reasonable prices. Considering it has been almost three years since these dolls came out. But I would never pay most of those prices. Just because it's out of my personal price range that I refuse to pay it. So yeah. If you can find this doll at a reasonable price, I would suggest you go and get her. She is gorgeous and stunning and I know that there's a... Silver Cinderella out there. I'm not paying over a thousand dollars for her. If you want to, then feel free to be
like I was saying, if you want to pay a thousand dollars for her, go be free and go pay that much for her. I most certainly will not. And I think blue Cinderella is just as good as silver. But the only difference is the limited edition number. Silver Cinderella is 2,000, 2,000, 250, 250 pieces. As opposed to her, she's 8,000 pieces. I still think she's just as good as silver. I would, I would like to own silver, but I've basically given up the notion of ever owning her. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of this Cinderella. And I will come back to you with another one since I got too. Okay, bye everybody, and Cinderella says bye too. Bye everybody!